Reckless, dangerous and thuggish. A coroner's damning description of police who chased down and brutally tasered a young Brazilian student in the CBD. The death of Roberto Ladicio Curti could now force sweeping changes to the way police are trained and their use of tasers. Let's go straight to Gabby Boyle, who's in Surrey Hills, where Mr Curti died. Gabby, what action has the coroner recommended? Well, let me tell you, the, the coroner has been nothing short of absolutely scathing. She has recommended the Police Integrity Commission become involved. She has recommended the five officers out of the 11 that were immediately involved be disciplined. And she has also re recommended that police take a long and very hard look at exactly how officers are trained and used tasers. She has said a 35-page recommendation uh, report uh, be issued. The coroner's findings won't bring Roberto Ladicio back, but they offer some comfort. We now have a better understanding of what led to Roberto's death on that awful evening. The 21-year-old Brazilian student died after being chased through Sydney's CBD by 11 police and repeatedly tasered. He was high on LSD and had stolen a packet of biscuits. Today, the coroner delivered a scathing assessment of the police response. Some of them did demonstrate an abuse of police powers, in some instances even thuggish. And the actions of some of the officers were just that, reckless, careless, dangerous and excessively forceful. She called the situation wild and uncontrolled, a frenzy and abhorrent. An almost ungoverned pack mentality, like schoolboys in Lord of the Flies, with no idea what the problem was or what threat or crime was supposedly to be averted or concern for the value of life. The coroner also found officers had conveniently forgotten, were unhelpful and less than credible when giving evidence. She recommended five officers be considered for disciplinary charges, the case be referred to the Police Integrity Commission, an immediate review of taser training and the way police respond to cases of mental health. It's of concern to me that so many of the involved police were extremely junior and inexperienced and yet were armed with tasers. Whilst nothing will ever bring Beto back, we continue to push for those responsible to face the consequences for their appalling behaviour on that night. By doing this, we have to prevent other young people and their families from suffering the way that we have. So certainly this case has not reflected well on the reputation of the New South Wales Police Force. Thank you. Gabrielle Boyle with that report. Well, the police commissioner has apologised for his officers' actions that night and said the force will not hesitate in adopting all of the coroner's recommendations. Here's John Hill. With the police force under fire over misuse of tasers and the needless death of a young man, the commissioner offered his condolences to Roberto Curti's family. When somebody so young dies, it is an absolute tragedy and uh, our hearts and thoughts go to the family at this stage. Three years after tasers were rolled out, the commissioner was forced to accept training in their use wasn't up to scratch. The report is quite scathing. That's the reality. We live with what the coroner has given us. We will go forward. We will not be shying away from what has to be done and clearly there is much work before us. The coroner's findings that the use of tasers during the Curti arrest did not comply with police operating procedures has prompted a further review. Procedures are likely to be tightened, but critics say young and inexperienced officers should not be armed with taser weapons. General duties police, thousands of them out on the streets, day in, day out, have got a weapon on their holster that they don't know the rules of engagement of. They don't know when they should use it, they don't know when they should keep it in their holster. And that puts all of us at risk. It is invariably a younger officer that is on the street, not a supervisor that's confronted in those situations where you have to make a split second decision. The police union says the use of tasers should not be restricted. Tasers are still an extremely valuable tool in regards to policing and keeping the community safe. It will be up to the Commissioner to decide whether using tasers in stun drive mode with the weapon pushed against the body should be banned. While the coroner stops short of recommending police involved should be charged over the death, their actions have been referred to the Police Integrity Commission. None have been suspended. Now those five police officers adversely named by the coroner are expected to go before the Police Integrity Commission. Today they've had their accreditation to use a taser cancelled. Thank you, John Hill of Police Headquarters.